Good morning, this is Len. It's an absolutely spectacular early morning. The sun's square in my eyes, and the Pacific Ocean is behind me. And I want to talk to you about your ego today. And I hope you're willing to, to chat with me a little bit about ego. So here's my question. Is your ego at the door, or does it go into the room with you when you go to a meeting? Let's, let me come back to that. You stay right there. So the question I ask you is, do you leave your ego at the door? And I'm going to encourage you to think about that. If you're in a meeting and somebody asks you a question, do you feel compelled to give them the answer? You want to be the person who has the knowledge. You want to be able to say, yes, this is the way it is. Do you want to uh, jump into the presentation and interrupt the speaker and say, oh, yeah, but I did. Okay, things like that. If you do, then you're probably doing more harm than good to your business. Here's the reason. If you attempt to answer every question, that's your ego getting in the way. And what you're doing is training the people to call you for the answers rather than call customer support or look up the information in some other way. And if you do that, that's not duplicatable. You can't build a big team that way. The best way, it's often been said in network marketing that if your lips are moving, your fingers should be pointing to some company supplied material or literature, etc. Your lips aren't moving because you're answering the question. Your lips are moving because you're pointing to where the person can get the answer to their question without you helping them. <clears throat> As you grow your business, that's going to become increasingly important. You have to supply leadership, not answers. Well, that's all for today. If you got value from this video, click like, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, look me up on Facebook, go to my website, lenmooney.com, for more tips and tricks on how to succeed in your network marketing business. We'll talk again. Bye for now.